Howdy, howdy, folks. Diecast Buffet here again. It's time for another Diecast review. Today's car is, well, a very popular one, and I am beyond excited to get this one. It is Casey Kane's Dumont Jan Jets Chevrolet Camaro. Absolutely ecstatic to get this car. Um, Wave 9, I don't know how, but... I got Wave 9 just about the same time everyone else did, so I don't know if I consider myself lucky or what, but I've seen uh, at least two, maybe three other people uh, get Wave 9 today the same time I did. So, absolutely uh, ecstatic. I am just ecstatic about it. So excited. When I, when I walked down the aisle and I was waiting like two to three months just to see these cars get restocked, right? I looked... And I seen um, the new die cast. And I was like, oh my god, there's new ones, there's new ones. Always freaking out. And I just started digging. Like I was, it was, I literally was fangirling over some 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 metal cars in the toy section. I mean, I was going crazy. But yeah, I was looking around, I'm like, oh my god, they have it. They have Casey Kane's do my jets car. I mean this one's absolutely beautiful beautiful man beautiful just seeing that that Everham number nine the font on it's iconic I mean to think that that's the same number nine bill that you ran it's the same number nine that Casey Kane started his career out with I mean it's it's beautiful beautiful and it's so iconic though even though the team didn't really last that long you know Abraham, um, they didn't really last that long, but man, it's just something really cool to see that, and I'm really surprised they actually got the correct font, I mean, of course, Abraham, Abraham didn't really have a problem with it, I'm pretty sure Ray did not have a problem with it at all, because Casey did a lot of good things for his team, they brought him a lot of wins, so I don't think he had any problem with it, I don't know if there'd be any other complications, but absolutely just is so happy to find this car. I've been waiting months and months for my store to restock, and sure enough, they did. And man, they brought some gems. Wave Nine has got some heavy hitters. Whew. Let's get this car out of the package. Here it is, folks, out of the box. Beautiful car. I mean, the red on this thing is sharp, and man, does it look! It looks good. It's just, just classic, classic. I mean, some people might consider this, you know, I mean, most people, obviously, it's a Casey Kane, you know, throwback to his, his, uh, what, his 2008 car, I believe, you know, from the side uh, stripes, I believe this is a throwback to 2008, but let's be real, folks, this is a throwback to the entire team, this is a throwback to Bill Elliott, this is a throwback to Mayfield, this is a throwback to all of them, this, you know, this font is iconic, man. It is just iconic. It didn't last that long, but man, let me tell you, it did some damage in the Cup Series. Beautiful paint scheme, and it's hard to think that Casey Kane is done, you know? It, what was it, just a little bit over a decade ago? He, well, more like 13 years, but still, 13 years ago, he started, and it's just, it's crazy, man. It really is how crazy how fast time flies, but Casey Kane... He's already retired. He's done. You know, he is done. And this is this could be the last Casey Kane car I ever get. You know, so it's it's very bittersweet. But man, is this a fine looking paint scheme? Fine looking paint scheme. This car just looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful paint scheme. The white, the black trim, and the just. It's just simple racing red, man. It just looks so good. Let's uh, take a look at the quality of this said die cast. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of an um, a issue on the back. As you can see, the Camaro logo is a little bit slanted. And as the stripes, as you can see, they're higher on this end and they're lower on here. Kind of like an arc a little bit. Anyhow, though, minor, minor details. Um... Let's take a look at this. Looks like the post is a little bit high up. It's unfortunate. 
See if I can get you a good look. There you go. Yeah, you can see the black is a little bit higher than it probably should be, I think. Man, this car, dude. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite cars of 2018. The nose. Pretty good. The nose looks pretty good. The left side. Man, this is... I'm gonna be honest, like... I did not expect to be doing a diecast review tonight, and I'll be honest, I'm going to do this video when y'all are seeing it. It was uh, originally <laughs> was supposed to be posted in December. I, I had I have a bunch of videos that I already have lined up, but this one is special, and I'm going to expedite the process. This is going to be the the next review on the channel. I will have it up. I'm moving this one up and I'm moving some other ones back and let me tell you this car it deserves it, it deserves the spotlight this car is beautiful and it deserves it I just I I cannot say enough about this paint scheme dude it, man this this paint scheme it's just so good looking man the simple red and the black trim the beautiful white numbers it looks amazing it absolutely this car looks amazing such a simple three color uh, paint scheme do my jets on the hood I mean you could take the sponsors off this car and it would still look really good so absolutely super excited and super happy to get this one brand new piece I mean I've seen a lot of people post light wave 9 stuff so it must be um, it must be I don't know I guess they hit retailers all at one time I have no clue all I know is this is one of the finds of the year this is one of the best ones and if you don't have it you got to get it folks you got to get it this is one you're gonna want to get and keep and hold on to this is a rare it's gonna be a rare car someday it's gonna be a very rare car beautiful paint scheme beautiful paint scheme um, the quality is really good the absolute just design is just amazing and I still, I'm so happy they actually got the, um, the proper font, you know, they didn't try to mimic it, they actually got the pro proper font, just absolutely amazing, absolutely, it does come with a, uh, a sticker for it, just a simple, you know, Casey Kane sticker, which is, which is pretty cool, you know, this is a throwback as of, of itself, I remember, um, a whole bunch of the 2002, 2003 cars. They had a bunch of um, of stickers and stuff, which I think is really cool to see that come back. I mean, I'm not going to use it obviously, but it's still really cool to see that um, come back into you know the retail side of things. That's really neat. All in all, though, this car is absolutely amazing. One of my favorite ones of the year, and one I will definitely cherish. This is a beautiful paint scheme to a driver that's already retired, but I, I still can't get over it, man. I mean, just look at that. that that's, I see Billy, I see Casey Kane, I see an amazing looking ride. Beautiful. If you liked the video, please leave a like below, and if you'd like to see more content from Diecast Buffet, please subscribe. We post reviews, stop motion, customs, and our NASCAR Thunder 2003 Let's Play series. A lot more things coming to the channel in the future. We're a small but growing uh, YouTube channel. Please uh, help us out by subscribing. And if you want to see more content, please follow us on follow me on Instagram at Diecast Buffet. A little behind the scenes things of what I'm doing with customs and all that fun stuff. So check me out over there. Anywho, though, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great one. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.